Hello beautiful children. How are you? How are you doing? Happy new month. Welcome to the new month. Um, I'm so happy to see you again. It's a beautiful day and I hope you're doing well. I know some of you are preparing to go back to school, some are already at school, but I pray that God will lead you. So today, before we go on, let's pray that Lord will guide us and lead us before we look at our lesson. Let's pray. Uh, dear loving Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you that we are alive, Father, and we thank you that you love us. We pray that the lesson we are going to learn, you will help us to understand it. In your name we have prayed. Amen. Beautiful children, wholesome children. Uh, I love you so much. And today we are going to look at the lesson. Pray without getting tired and trusting God when we pray. Praying without getting tired and trusting God. So children, there's a very important man in the Bible that you are going to look at. He always prayed and trusted in God. Could you please give a guess? Ah, I think some of you have uh, given the right guess. I think that and that person is Elijah, Prophet Elijah. Uh, a prophet is a person that tells other people the message of God. So Prophet Elijah, he was one of them. Elijah, the prophet, in 1 Kings chapter 16, uh, 17 and 18, uh, the people of that time had um, started to worship uh, small gods. Just worship the god called Baal. And because of that, there was no rain for the next three years. And we see Prophet Elijah, one day he climbed up to mountain Camel um, and he prayed to God that rain would come down. But he prayed the first time, there was no rain. He sent his servant out to see if there was any sign of rain. There was no sign of rain. He sent his servant the second time while he was praying, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, the sixth time, and there was no sign of rain. But Elijah did not stop praying to God. Prophet Elijah, he sent the servant again, uh, the servant again, to see if there was no if there was sign of rain. And Prophet Elijah, he continued to pray. On the seventh time, the servant came back and told him, I've seen a sign of rain. I've seen a small feast. And it shows that rain is going to fall down. And Elijah was happy. And then after a while, the all the sky was covered with dark clouds. And a heavy rain fell down on earth. Wow! Elijah prayed without getting tired. And the Lord answered him. So children, just as prophet Elijah prayed to God that rain would fall down after the three years of no rain and he trusted in him, he prayed without getting tired. So I encourage us beautiful children to always pray, to pray without getting tired and trust in him. Children, I believe that sometimes when we pray for things and they seem not to come and it seems there's no answer from God, some of us we may be praying that we perform well at school, we get better grades, maybe we are sick and we are praying God to heal us, maybe our parents are sick, maybe the parents divorced, but we are praying to God and it seems there's no answer. But children, let us be like Prophet Elijah. God calls us to trust him, to pray without getting tired. Because in his word he has said, Pray without getting tired. Uh, in Colossians chapter 4 verse 2. He also tells us in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. To pray at all times in the spirit. So do not get tired of praying. Children. Wholesome children. God calls us to trust him. And patiently wait upon him. In Isaiah 40 verse 31. He says. Patient, he tells us to patiently wait upon the Lord, for our strength shall be renewed. Let us patiently wait upon the Lord. As we pray for the many different things that we desire to have in our lives, let us patiently wait upon the Lord. When we pray, children, God hears us and he calls us to trust him. He says in James chapter 1, 
verse 5 to 6 that if any of you asks wisdom you should ask God for it he'll give it to you God gives freely to everyone and does not find any fault but when you ask him you must believe you must not doubt that's because a person who doubts is like a wave of the sea the wind blows and tosses them around the people who pray doubting they shouldn't expect anything from the Lord because they do doubt so children God is calling us not to doubt when we pray to trust him and believe that he hears our prayers pray without getting tired and trust him the Bible continues to tell us in Psalms chapter 37 verse 5 that trust in him and he will act children will you today trust him that he will act even when your grades are getting worse even when the sickness is not going away will you continue to trust him and pray children God calls us to trust him but sometimes we continue praying we trust him but it seems there's nothing children listen uh, sometimes we may think that God is not answering our prayers but he tells us in his word in John 15 7 if you remain joined to me and my word in you ask whatever you wish that means he's listening to your prayer and he's ready to answer you but remember he says there are three answers that he says yes no or wait children Sometimes God will say yes or no or wait. For he answers all our prayers. He's ready to listen to your prayers. Keep on praying to God and trusting him that he will act. Just like Prophet Elijah. He prayed seven times and the seventh time the rain came down. Children, let's pray to God to help. Help us to always believe in Him and pray all the time. Dear children, Lord, dear Lord, we come before you and we are praying that, Lord, you help us to pray without getting tired because your word has said so. We pray that we also trust you like Prophet Elijah did when he was praying. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, children. May God bless you. Pray without getting tired and trust in Him. He'll love it. Have a blessed month. See you again next Sunday. Bye bye. Sometimes though.